Hello guys and girls, welcome back. Nice to see you at my channel again. Boom, there we are. I'm going to uh, give you um, just an overview, a quick overview of my collection so far. I collected um, 50 peas since the beginning of June. So um, I haven't got too far, but uh, I thought you might be interested in some other things that I have. Benjamin Bunny so far. I might leave that on the table so we've got a guide for the camera. There we are. £17 in Benjamin Bunny so far. I won't wrap all those too much, but there we are. So we've made a good start with those. The first thing that I'm going to show you is the first decimal, first set of decimal coins. I went decimal in 1971. And I'm going to show you the information that you can freeze frame and copy. That's the reverse of the coins, of course. Get um, HRH up the right way. There we are. So, hey penny, one penny, tuppence, five pence, and ten pence. There we are. Okay, and the information on that card is there for you to freeze frame and read at your leisure. This is to keep the um, video short and concise. There we are. The next thing I have is a set of crowns that I purchased, I believe, must have been the 80s because the latest coin is 1981. Set of five crowns. And again, I'm not going to go through them, I'm just going to show them to you because I'm conscious of the time that it takes to go through all these things. There we are. Recently, I purchased this um, set of coins uh, from Malta. These are 1972, I think, yes. And can you see that? Okay, I know the reflections in here are not good, but it's nice and light in the conservatory. But I purchased these because of the shape of these coins. I absolutely love them. It's a little bit ropier than I thought. But purchased it from eBay, but it's a, still a nice set. I'll go back to uh, the 19s, uh, 80s, 1980s, and here we go. This is the famous uh, baked bean collection. We got these for free. I think we had to save so many labels and send them away. I did that myself, so uh, there's the information for you. Striking coins at the Royal Mint. There we are. Let's see if I can turn that over so you can see the other side. Oh, look, can I do that? It's come unstuck as you can see. How can I see the other side then? Oh, the other way. Oh, you might want to have a look at the. Um, this is a parliament bar. Look at that big bend. Yeah. There we are. Oh, we still haven't done it. What have I done? <laughs> oh dear. There we are. Sorry about that. Hate me, penny, tuppence. Five pence, ten pence, twenty pence, and a nineteen eighty three fifty pence piece. Okay, the two p hasn't got the error on it, by the way. There is um, some were printed with um, new pence instead of two pence on them, I believe. There we are. Now we're going to go on to. I don't think I've got any other older ones. We're going to go on to recent purchases, and um, I'm curtsying as I show you this. Um, her Royal Highness, 95th birthday, beautiful coin. I'm not taking these out of these packages. I like to keep them pristine. In fact, I keep them in a plastic sleeve. And there is one, I'll put that on there. They are, um, sorry about the camera move. They are for single records and I just thought it'd be a nice dust cover. There we are. I did take this one out, as you can see, I put it back the wrong way around, so that needs sorting out as well. So I won't uh, delay any longer on those. Another one out of the bag. And this one is our uh, Peter Pan set. There we are. I'm going to have to open this and show you on top. I don't think we can not open it. I've got a nice shelf that I can lay those plastic wallets on. Keep them clean. There we go. Peter Pan. 
That's a lovely set, isn't it? Now I tilt for the top so that you can see them without the reflections. There we are. Lovely children's story, isn't it? There we are. That's a recent purchase. My next one is again I'm going to take it out of the plastic wallet. Please excuse the noise. There we are. Now then, Mr. Ben. Look at that. The children's TV program uh, was on in the 70s, I believe, early 80s, somewhere around there. I'm sure it'll say in the information. There we are. I'll show you the picture first. All the outfits. You used to go to the back of the shop and uh, come out in a totally different place. There we are. Okay, and the coins without the reflections, if I can. There we are. Okay. And that's a lovely picture on the back of the... That's it. And the next one I remember as a child myself, I used to get the annual for Christmas. And uh, there was a magic painting page where you just had to paint the page with water and it would magically become colour. Look at that. Right, first of all, I'll give you the info. There's all the characters. And so I'm making this a short, so. And if there's real quality issues, which I can see with the, with the video, I do apologize. And so I've set up in the conservatory because of the light and there's not enough room in my little craft room. It's too dark. I've tried to film over the weekend a couple of um, videos of coin hunts but I've had an absolute mare of a time. Uh, first of all, I filmed it in HD. YouTube didn't want HD. It was too too big a file, I believe. So um, uh, I'm still learning on that one. So they will come. So I've done a couple of coin hunts. I've done a 200 pound one in two halves and I did um, a 250 pound one yesterday. These are just a set for uh, tourists packs I believe. I purchased it yesterday in Winchester because it's a good demonstration of the pre-decimal coins. Now you'll have to forgive the fact that they've put in a 1977 crown. That's probably because the crowns are hard to come by and we can show you that is obviously in celebration again for Queen Elizabeth. There we are. And they're all original coins but that is 1977, or the, other, the others are all pre-decimal. I'll go through them with you in a minute. And there's this other side. In fact, I won't go through each coin because they speak for themselves. I will tilt and turn slowly for you. There we are. You can see how much I paid for it as well, £10.50. I thought that was a bit expensive, but then um, maybe not when we break it down. Okay. And I used this, this coinage when I was um, at school. Um, we were decimal actually while I was at school. So we were, we were using pounds, shillings and pence as it's known. And one day I will make a, a, a nice uh, video on that because I can remember it so well. And because I've got uh, some pre-decimal coins, uh, we'll do a video on that one. Okay, let's uh, just clear the decks a bit. And I've been onto the uh, change checker and uh, guess what I've got a few of these new 50 pence pieces and I couldn't resist so I'm just going to whiz through them I'm going to show you what they are and uh, I'm not going to talk you through them because I'll, it just takes too long so make sure you can see all the details and I'm not even going to try and pronounce those with my lisp. There we are. Okay. 
funny, I knew I had a list, but I never noticed until I uh, started doing this. GB with a dual date. I purchased two of those. Here we are. Okay. And then I purchased one single Alice in Wonderland. Lovely. I purchased one. Um, of the 10 P's, just because I love it. The Queen's Silver Jubilee, sorry, the Queen's Jubilee coach. There we are. K for Jubilee. I love these, um, the way these are pa packaged. I wished I bought a set of those, but uh, maybe I still will, who knows. And now I'm gonna show you my favorite uh, purchase recent purchase and um, I think this is a stunning coin absolutely stunning there we go the Royal Albert Hall isn't that a cracker and I wish I'd bought the domed one of course easy after the event but I am a little bit frugal so I think oh 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 you know I'm not going to not going to buy that as well and that as well and that as well, but I really wished I'd bought the domed coin in the Royal Albert Hall. I, I'm going to just linger on that one just a bit. The detail, the history. Um, I can imagine being in there watching Andre Rue. Yes, lovely. You can hear the music as we speak. Fabulous. There we are. Okay, so now we get over to the 50 P's. I'm going to show you the albums and if I just lay it down there. There we are. And turn over. Maybe not. There we are. They're all on one side. No, that's not good, is it? That is not good with the reflections. We're missing the Q and the Sir Isaac Newton. We've got the suffragettes, which is one that I was looking for recently and I was lucky enough to find it. And then go over that. There we are. I'm going to get some proper inserts. I've been on to Raff Tree and I'm ordering some merchandise. And uh, soon I'm going to be doing um, a giveaway. And those will include surprises. I'm not going to tell you what the giveaways are, so, um, but I will tell you when I'm doing them so that you know when to expect something, if you're lucky enough to be drawn that is, obviously, um, depending on how many subscribers I've got, it's my way of saying thank you for subscribing, Beatrix Potter, I love, I love her story, there we are, Flopsy Bunny, being a bit elusive, Hello Sherlock, there we are. Over again. My territory page. Look, look at that. Father Christmas. Look. There we are. Jersey. It's uh, Gibraltar, Jersey. And uh, Iron Man TT. There we are. Got one, you know, diversity. Not, that's in a page underneath. But, uh, yeah. Silver reflection, sorry. When I view this video, I'll be able to see which is um, the best angle and be able to use them. Now then, because uh, the Olympics are so elusive, I have decided to start a second album and get that going. I think I've got um, 8, 10, 12, 13 Olympics. There we are, and I'm looking at them on eBay because uh, they're hard to find. The second album isn't quite as full as this one. Uh, there are more missing. Let's flip over. Yeah, and that across. And Paddington's safe. 
one of my pipes. That's lovely. Love the Paddington. There we are. Can you see that? The duck again. We've got um, duck on the duck. The most recent ones are the most difficult to get because uh, I think they're a lower mintage. But I lost the um, Sherlock and just one jersey in that one. And then I, the only um, doubles I've got on the Olympic coins are there just for. Okay, so that's the two albums. Those albums, by the way, I purchased from. Uh, WH Smiths, in case you're interested. Uh, two two pound coins from change, but I haven't even done or started looking at these yet. But uh, there we are. That's the two pound coins. Okay. Now I have a, a system, uh, having grown up on Blue Peter many years ago. In fact, it was the first time around for Blue Peter when I watched it. This is my swap box. And that has uh, just gone in years. I've just hidden the duck at the front. That's my spare duck. I've gone in years and popped those in the in little plastic bags to protect them. Because I'm conscious every time I pick up a bag or of coins now that I'm doing some sort of damage. So I just when I get something as I mentioned um, before, maybe not. Um, you might not have seen it actually because I had a problem with the. Uh, recording but um, I wash my coins that are going in my album in fairy liquid just a just a tiniest drop and warm water and I wipe them with a chamois leather so that they're all clean and the ones that go back to the bank I wait 24 hours before I take them back uh, sorry 48 hours before I take them back it's two days before I take them back there we are and that's the well, I hope you enjoy that little insight into what I've been up to. And oh, turn the camera back. I obviously knocked it again. Um, I really appreciate you joining me. Lovely to see you. Pop in and see me again soon. And take care of yourselves till then. Goodbye.